A new survey revealed a growing number of middle and high school students are being exposed to secondhand fumes from vaping. As Action News anchor Dale Yurong reports, medical experts want to know what impact those vapors have on the health of teenagers, even if they don't use e-cigarettes or vape pens. Health issues caused by secondhand smoke from cigarettes are well documented, but researchers are now looking into potential lung problems caused by vaping. Young people we talked to didn't seem to be worried about breathing in secondhand vapors. It really doesn't bug me. Like, doesn't bug me, you know, they do their business, I do my business. Does it bother you when they, when they smoke around you? Uh, no, not really. Well, why not? because it doesn't smell like anything, and if it does, it smells good, so. But those fruity and sweet vaping flavors marketed so heavily can mask nicotine, THC, heavy metals, and potentially harmful chemicals. The solvents they use in the little capsules have problems. The bottom line is you're playing Russian roulette with your lungs. Scientists are starting to look into the dangers of secondhand vaping fumes. Parents like Patricia Ortiz are very concerned about any aerosol vapors in the air. That's one of the reasons why I pick her up. I don't want her walking in that crowd because there are a lot, like I said, that she knows that they do do it. So even if it's not in her hand, she's still breathing it in. The long-term effects of vaping are not known, so doctors urge young people to stay away from areas where they might breathe in vaping fumes. You want to avoid, you want to keep at least six feet away. Uh, you want to avoid going into rooms where there's lots of vaping going on. They're putting this stuff in their lungs, turning back into a liquid or oil. It's leaving some of that behind in their lungs. Rob Holliday tours the U.S. talking about the dangers of vaping. He visited Kings Canyon Middle School, and Holliday says sometimes it can be difficult to avoid even secondhand vapors. Most of the vaping um, during the school day takes place in the bathrooms, in the stalls. And so kids tell me, Rob, I go to the bathrooms and it's just, the vapor is everywhere. It is a disturbing trend. Concerns over secondhand smoke are rising. A National Tobacco Youth Survey showed a third of middle and high school students are exposed to vaping aerosols. Telling friends they don't want to try a vape pen or asking them not to vape in their presence sometimes isn't easy for kids. Peer pressure is very difficult and at the middle school level even more so to say no, right? Still, some teens want more medical proof the vapors are harmful. I think that if it was like actually proven that vaping is harmful, then I would be a little bit more conscious of the effects. Some medical experts, though, insist even passive exposure to vaping can pose a health risk. Dale Yurong, ABC 30 Action News. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this from ABC 30, just make sure to hit that subscribe button below.